the crowd booing in the arena at the end. But in the middle of the second round, Floyd literally had the referee swapped out. He didn't like that the referee told him to stop hitting behind the head. Floyd is used to having the refs do whatever he wants, and he wasn't getting his way this time. It was so embarrassing. Floyd, you're 50 years old. You're a legend in the sport. I've stood up for you in countless interviews, including Shannon Sharp's podcast last week. But you have to stop embarrassing yourself with these exhibitions. I know life is hard. I know life is expensive. But come on, dude, put your legacy first. Nobody wants to remember you like this. And it gets worse. Your jeweler filed a lawsuit against you in Miami. And many are saying you're gonna have to sell off your assets. I hate seeing this happen, bro. As I've always said, it's hard to make money, but it's even harder to keep it. As you just heard, Oscar De La Hoya pretty much been trolling lately on, on X. And uh, one of the things he talked about was Floyd, as you heard in the video, being broke. It's been rumors going around. Um, the, his last exhibition with John Gotti it was bizarre. You fired a referee in, in the middle of the ring, and it just look. I'm gonna be honest. Is Floyd broke? Probably not. You know, I, I highly doubt you ever see Floyd working at McDonald's or whatever. But I do think that Floyd's overhead. Floyd is boxing because of his overhead. And uh, why I really, you know, Oscar, he got a lot of nerves, especially with the racism that went over at Golden Boy. And they never wanted to answer that or ask those questions. Had those questions asked, I will say this. Something just ain't right with Floyd, man. As far as like, historically, when you keep boxing and exhibitions, it's because those fighters are broke. Historically, all the previous fighters. And again, Floyd might have, hypothetically, 60 million, right? But he got a $50 million a year budget. You know, you got private jets, you got women, you got, everybody got to have Birkin bags, you got 50 cars, you got eight homes, you got, you know, um, uh, this, that, and the third, you're constantly, you only fly private, you only go Gucci shopping, and you sit, you, you claim you spend a hundred thousand dollars every time you go shopping, and this, all of that adds up. Even Mark Zuckerberg, you wouldn't see Mark Zuckerberg shopping like that. You wouldn't see Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. These are the wealthiest people in the world. You're not going to see them spending at that rate, you know, so it's hard to keep a lifestyle like that. That's why a lot of billionaires, even they live modestly. You can run through money, you know, and let's just say Floyd has touched a billion dollars. When you take out taxes and, and, and all of that, man, you can run. Look how much. Look how look how Mike Tyson ran through all his money. And when Mike Tyson said he got out of prison. He said he was worth around $300 million. You got uh, tigers and all of that, you know, all the other type of shit that adds up. Even that big mansion that he had, when he sold it to 50, 50 said he was paying $70,000 a month alone just in maintenance on that house. So let's just say Floyd got six homes and each home cost him about $20,000 a month. That's just that. That's just to keep the homes up and going to a degree. That ain't the taxes in the house. That ain't the everything else you can think of. So honestly, and he might have money tied up. Allegedly, Al you know and they say al's back now as well but al allegedly owed floyd about 100 million still and floyd hasn't got received money and so it's something just not right but i really really hope that he let, let me say this floyd if you out here fighting for money because your funds is low dude just cut back you already got all the cars you want you you only need maybe two three good cars who gonna really no don't nobody care no more and a sad part is it's hurting his legacy it wasn't people in the fights like that. People wouldn't order in that fight. People are, are laughing at Floyd down in the comments. Only a certain amount of, of um, you know, fans that's just deriding Floyd because he got money. Oh, man, he just make another 30 million. But other than that, man, people are, are starting to, a lot of people are concerned, you know, and like, and, and you know what's bad when casuals are now questioning whether or not Floyd got money. And it's just, it, it's sad, man. I, I really hope all that money he been flashing all these years. He was able to flash him in the stocks and investments in different companies. He claims he owns all these skyscrapers in New York City. I really hope that's the case because no 48-year-old billionaire that he says he is should be boxing in the ring. I'm sorry. You got too much money at this point. Floyd, you could have Mayweather promotions so ahead of the game that you would go down as the greatest promoter of all time. Bigger than Tech Rickard. Tex Rickard. Bigger than... Uh, Don King, bigger than Bob Arum, bigger than everybody you can think of. You know, the Eddie Hearns, everybody would come to you first. Floyd could have had Tank Davis, Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, 
Tiafima Lopez all under the same promotion. He he, he basically could have squeezed out the competition to a degree. But no, he too busy, man, trolling the, the, the fighters and still want to be relevant. So I don't know. I just really hope this ain't true. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.